So today I'm talking about a P0140 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0140 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit no activity detected bank one sensor two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get a P0140 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank one sensor 202 sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine is going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google the number one cylinder on your particular engine, since there is differences, that side of the engine would be bank one and the opposite would be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there's only going to be one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0140 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bank one sensor 202 sensor. It might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. And basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that each bank of the engine is going to have two sensors. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter and is also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. So the O2 sensor to go and locate is going to be this bank one sensor two O2 sensor on your particular vehicle. Once you locate that O2 sensor, there's some different ways to go about testing it. You can use a multimeter. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can use that. There's some good YouTube videos on that. I've made YouTube videos on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank one sensor two O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the O2 sensor. If there's anything wrong with that wiring, there's like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, there's a bad connection, anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go and check out that wiring, be sure everything looks like it's connected good, that there's no damage to the wires or anything like this. You can also get a wiring diagram for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on with the wiring. Since again, there can be differences. These four wire O2 sensors are very common. And basically what's going on with these is that two wires are going to be going to a heater element. The heater element just helps these warm up quicker so that the O2 sensor can get accurate readings because the O2 sensor part that's built into it can't get accurate readings until it warms up. So the heater element just helps it warm up quicker. It's very common for these to be on a fuse or a relay. So you can go and check for a bad fuse or a bad relay. There's also two wires going back to the computer. So if you get schematics for your particular vehicle, if you can't go and check this wiring, be sure you got a good ground. Be sure the signal wire going back to the computer is good, things like this. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0140 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.